Hello, my name is June Voss. I work at the Steele County Historical Society as the museum assistant. My primary duties revolve around collections and exhibits. The Steele County Historical Society has a commitment to hosting an exhibit about the military at all times. Presently, we are developing an exhibit on World War I. Before I started working here, I had no idea how many hours were required to pull accurate information together. Archivists, historians, graphics, and display designers, and carpenters all work together to construct the exhibits. I recently transcribed a number of letters that World War I soldiers had written to loved ones at home in Steele County. These included handwritten originals and letters printed in the Journal Chronicle, People's Press, Blooming Prairie Times, or the Allendale Eagle newspapers. A number of these letters will be on display in the museum this coming year. I immediately was drawn to the soldiers' stories and would like to share a few words with you. On July 3, 1918, Henry Hill, the adopted son of Mr. and Mrs. M. R. Ebling, writes with some humor, Tomorrow is the 4th of July. I think the Boshes will think there is something wrong when we let loose. September 18, 1918, Mr. and Mrs. Carl Drockey, parents of Max Drockey, received a message from the War Department. The official letter said, The company in which Max was serving had been in the fighting line and on return back to the trenches he was missing. Max does write home on October 22nd. I invite you to come and read his letter and find out where Max was. May 13, 1918. Otto Lund writes to his mother, Mrs. Chris Lund, from somewhere in France. Otto writes, Today is Mother's Day and I must write you a letter. The letter is clearly written for his mother as he mentions comparisons to her stories and about a farm wife's chores. He writes of Paris in a romantic way. This was the most heart-touching and favorite letter I transcribed. He asks, towards the end of the letter, tell Grace that you heard from me, and I expect a long letter in return. I was curious about Grace. We did some genealogy research to find out whom he married, hopefully that they connected after the war. Otto Lund was killed in action in France, August 2nd, 1918, less than three months after his Mother's Day letter. The Great War Over Here, Over There will be open April 2017 to commemorate the 100-year anniversary of the American entry into the war. Thank you for listening to this presentation from the Steele County Historical Society, where our mission is preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.